Could this be the best bunny cook set for camping, backpacking, and day hiking? Maybe. We currently have the GSI Pinnacle cook set. It's a larger one. We use it for our tiny camp kitchen. Absolutely love it. So we thought, let's try this bad boy out. The Halulite Michael Duelist. Who knows if I actually said that right? right? We currently have the Stanley Cup. It is 24 ounces, which is great. It works good, except for we want to be able to cook a little bit bigger meals and some more real food. Let me show you what's inside. We first off have our handy dandy carrying case so we can put it all together. Also, this can be used for washing. We got our handle, which I always seem to have a little bit harder time with these. I'm not squeezing right. We got a nice handle that is covered, so I won't be burning my titsies when it gets hot. We have our lid inside. We have one, two, two person set. We have our bowl nestled in there. It is 12 fluid ounces, it says. Then we have our cup, which is lined, so you won't be burning your fingers. The cup itself has a sip lid, and inside the sip lid is the phone. Phone. So it is collapsible. You want to put your handle out, snap this into place, and there you have your eating utensil. The pot itself is made from anodized aluminum, so it seems fairly sturdy. All together with everything, it's 16.7 ounces, so not too heavy, but if you wanted to do just the pot itself, it's pretty light. It is 40 ounces. It's marked on the inside. Nice thing about this pot, it actually has a little pour spout area. It's indented. And the nice thing about that is this lid has little holes on the top, so you can vent the steam out, or it can be used also as a pour spout. The lid itself has a nice little handle, so it's easy to come on and off. One problem we've heard of is these little handles have come off, lost, broken, but they, uh, people have contacted the company and they have replaced them, so that's really great. We're gonna cook up some food and test out our pot. Coincidentally, Right on Trek sent us some vegan shepherd stew, not sponsored, but we're gonna test it out and see how it is and give you our honest review of how it tastes. It's nice being able to find some vegan backpacking options. So this is a little bit different than what we've done in the past. Normally we put water into the package and eaten it. This one, we actually put it into the pot, which luckily we have a one liter pot and cook it inside that. It says we need to boil 14 ounces of water, but we need to first put some oil in. I'm hoping that the oil packet's inside. We've got our little flakes. Yep, I see some oil in there. Get that oil out. Nice that we can use this bag for our garbage. And pour it in there. Use the bag it came in. Inside the pot it has measurements, so we need about 14 ounces it says. So that's the, just under the second line. Ooh, that feels nice. Let's put the lid on it to help make it boil faster. And now we wait. Once the water has boiled, we're gonna add the inner packet, this, cook that for two minutes, and then we're gonna turn the heat down and add the potatoes. Oh, it's boiling, that was fast. We are going to our, add our other packet now. Let's put it in there. Turn the heat down, cooking for two minutes. While we wait for this to cook, we are enjoying the fast moving river. We've got had a bunch of rain. This is the first time it's actually been sunny. We are going to pour the potatoes in and stir everything together. Then we will turn off the heat and put a lid on it. Oh, it smells really good actually. It's been worked well, but we did notice that the food is going to be getting caught in there, so we'll need to make sure you wash this really well after eating. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like. And here it is in the pot. Um, I do think that I messed up a little bit. I didn't put enough water in there. Let's give it a good taste. I see peas. 
It's really tasty. The texture reminds me of stuffing from like Thanksgiving. It's really flavorful. It's nice and warm. Super cold today. So this is a nice treat. You can see the steam coming off of it. The pot did really well. Cooked it fast. One downfall for this type of meal is that there will be more cleanup, whereas if it was just put into the bag, we could just eat it out of the bag and toss. Our last backpacking trip, we actually had some ramen and we had to break it all up to fit into this little guy. We're pretty excited about this pot because it is a lot bigger. We should be able to fit a lot more different types of food in there. This is really good. We would definitely buy it and we will add it to our list for our next trip. Overall, we're really happy about how this worked. Um, we just ate right out of the pot. But next time our, we're camping, we'll be excited to have our hot drinks while we're having some breakfast in the morning. But if we're gonna go really light camping, we could probably just take the pot and the spoon. But if we're going for a little bit longer and we need some extra stuff, these will be included. We wanna see if we can fit both our fuel and our stove inside the pot. And that way we wouldn't have to have one extra thing taking up space. Unfortunately, the fuel can is just a little bit too tall. Our MSR pocket rocket, see if that fits. Unfortunately, it is just a little bit too big. There are smaller stoves out there, but we just wanted to see if we can combine it all together. Now, if we decided to leave one set of cups and bowls, we could probably fit it all together that way. Or if we left the cups and bowls at home and we just took the stove and the pot, that would all fit in together as well. It's getting cold, so I put my gloves on. Great set of pots. Watch this video next. If you wanna learn more about us, explore trekadventure.com. And everything you see out today will be links in the description below, and we'll see you next time. Oh, one more thing. If you guys have a great set of pots that you like to use for backpacking, let us know in the comments below. See you next time.